Hey guys, Rachel here with Stitching Sisters. I am sure you're probably wondering where Sarah is, and I mean, are we even the sti Stitching Sisters without each other? No. Anyways, the reason she's not here is because this year is Sarah's first Mother's Day. She was a stepmom last year, the last couple of years, but this is the first year where she has Fisher Polu. <laughs> my dog. He tried to knock over my tripod with my DLSR on it. Now he's complaining. Anyways, I'm trying to surprise her for Mother's Day. So for our May crochet along, I have a project in mind. She doesn't know about any of this. Um, that I, we're gonna work on together, obviously our crochet along, but we're gonna be making the same thing to match each other. So I got this yarn. It is Lion Brand Mandala yarn, two rolls so we can match. And we are going to be making the Blythe Tank by Tinderbox. That is a tank top, so it'll be perfect for our hot, hot Hawaii weather. And I just think it'll be super cute for us to make something to match. So when I see her, I'm gonna try and plan this. She knows nothing about this. She doesn't know I'm making this video right now or um, she actually thinks we're working on a different project for um, May. So hopefully she doesn't get upset. Hopefully she wasn't too attached to that one. And also, in case you were wondering, I did a photo shoot today in this sweater. This is the Knot Sweater by One of a Kate. It's um, got a little cute v-neck in the back and then the knot in the front. Um, I've got my microphone cord in the way. But um, it's so soft, so comfortable, so adorable. I will drop the link uh, for this pattern. It is a kit through Lion Brand. It's made with DK weight yarn and it worked up pretty easily. The knot part was a little confusing, but she's actually making YouTube videos, YouTube tutorials for it. So it'll be super easy um, once that's out. But I figured it out, although I've been crocheting for going on nine years now, I still consider myself a beginner because this is the first like sweater I've made myself. I don't do garments a whole lot. I've always done bags and hats. So if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. You should definitely make one. The kit was super affordable, doesn't use a ton of yarn. Um, I will drop the link for that so you can check it out. And yeah, so I'm really excited about this project. I can't wait to tell her. I've got to keep it a secret now for a couple more weeks. It should be fun. Hey guys. Hi. So Sarah still doesn't know what our crochet along is. I don't. But I did tell her that we need a 4.5 millimeter hook. And we are, like I said, going to make our hooks with clay. Yay! Sarah has her own and colors. Some green too. So we, her stitches are, her tension is like super tight. So we're just gonna assume that she's gonna need a smaller hook size. She doesn't have a 4.5. I think she'll be able to get away with a four. Um, so that's what she's going to use. I do have a 4.5. We're actually just going to put clay on all our metal yeah, hooks. Yeah, I have... Oh, this one. I have a lot. I'm not, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to put any on this big one. It's know. already pretty wide. It is. Okay. I just, now that I've bought a couple, like, wider handled hooks, ergonomic hooks, I hate these thin metal ones, so we're gonna make our own. We're gonna put Especially clay on them all. ones that are like this thin, like they hurt my hands they so do. bad. They totally do. So, we'll show you what we'll come up with. How's your hooks? Great. These are two of them. They came out pretty good. Um, they're not perfect, but it's okay. You can have, I had a baking mat, and so the imprint of the baking mat is in them. But. And they're I, done? They are. These two are done. I have more in the oven, which I'll post a picture of them later, I guess. And yeah. Mine are not baked yet, but here's what we have. And then my little funky, misshapen, adorable bunny. Bu bunny? <laughs> <laughs> Button. I don't know why I said bunny. <laughs> my button 
Um, I just had some leftover clay. God, I almost said yarn. I need to go home. I'm tired. I had some leftover clay, so I just um, just made a yeah. misshapen and circle. Rachel I didn't took measure hers it. hers up to the top, and I left mine like that. But I did kind of flatten it a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. So that way, yeah, you can. Like your thumb still rests nicely. Um, but she went all the way up, so she wrote her number, like the size, on each one. Oh yeah, whereas you didn't have to. No, because you can see six and a half, and that's okay. It was so much fun. We're definitely gonna do this again. I have more hooks to do. I did all my hooks. I decided not to do this one because I don't think it's necessary. It's already so big. It is, and it, it, I made a whole blanket with this, and it did. It didn't hurt my hand at all, but. So, so fun. we'll be back soon to show Sarah what our main crochet along is. I'm so excited. It's a surprise. Yay. Okay, bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Sarah. And, and we're, we're the Stitching, Stitching Sisters. Sisters. So as you all know, Sarah does not know what our May crochet along is yet. It's a I surprise don't. for her. Fisher doesn't know either. <gasps> you don't know what the surprise is? So I'm going to show her right now what we're gonna be doing. So since Do I know what it is? Like, have I seen it before? I'm not saying. So All since right. it's Mother's Day, in a couple days, we're doing this, this is for Mother's Day, I wanted to oh, do okay. something fun, something different than what we've done so far. Oh God. <laughs> do I know what it is? <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's we're the good. top. It's the tank top from Tinderbox. Oh, I'm so excited. So we're going to be making the Blythe tank. The Blythe? It's called Blythe. Blythe. And <gasps> we're going to match. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Yes. I was. Oh, I wanted to make them for you myself and that way you could have matching oh, tank tops, sure. but I just didn't have the time. So I thought, why don't we just make it together? Oh, I'm really excited. Are we going to make our own buttons? We're going to make our own buttons oh my goodness. with the clay. This my, is the best day just ever. Magically, the clay that I have matches this yarn perfectly. I am so thrilled right now. I know. So that's, so we made our hooks already. We didn't show those. Oh, yeah. Mine are mostly in my bedroom. Oh. Mine, I, we had a hard time. Mine cracked. Yeah. So I made two, like, this size with this amount of clay. And these are the only two that did not crack. Anything even slightly smaller than this all cracked. Yeah, we got to make them thick, I and guess. And what's interesting is we use different clay, but both types of clay Yeah, cracked. they both... Like, it didn't a... matter the type of clay or anything. Yeah. And I even tried it. So I baked them, and I baked them all. Um, like, the two thick ones, I baked for the most amount of time. And they're the ones... Oh, no. No, I baked... These super long, and so I was like, oh, maybe that's why the other ones cracked. Like, they weren't baked long enough. And so I did them more, and it did, didn't matter what I do. They all cracked anyway. So Yeah, so we'll have to watch some videos to figure out how to do that better. And I realized last time I said how your stitches are always tight, so you're probably going to yeah. need it. I said a 4 millimeter instead of a 4.5, but that's not right. If your stitches are tight, you're going to need, need a bigger. bigger. Yeah, so, so you'll I'll probably use a 5. Perfect. We'll and see. This is. And We're this gonna... is my favorite book. We're going to do our gauge swatches. I'm going to try. You know I got my eyes dilated today, which is why I have sunglasses on. So I can't She's see very rude. well. <laughs> I'm blind right now. Oh but my yeah. Gosh. So, I'm so excited. So you showed me this a while ago and I wanted to do it. I know. And I didn't, I, yeah, I had already shown it to you. And at the time I didn't have this idea Ouch. planned. It just occurred to me, and I was like, that would be so fun to do this for Mother's Day to make us matching tank tops. And I love this yarn. Is this acrylic? It is acrylic. It's, so it's still soft, soft though. though. Yeah. I'm amazed right now because it's... acrylic's not normally my favorite. Yeah, me too. But these colors. I think it'll be nice. Lion Brand Mandala yarn. I got this at Walmart, and it's 590 yards, and we're going to need... Um, I can't read any of that. I'm, do you want me to read? I think it's approximately 500 yards for... A size medium which I figured um, we probably would be about but you can also adjust it to make it um, cropped or so longer it goes extra small small so 305 are we doing crop um, I was gonna do mine full length 
or maybe like somewhere in between. So full is 360, so for 450. 450 is a medium. Oh, so we have plenty then. Yeah, because the, so I noticed when there's the parentheses, the number on the outside is the extra small. Yes. So extra small, and then it goes small, medium, medium is the second one. So for a full is approximately, yeah, 550. Perfect. So we Yay! should have plenty of yarn then. Yeah, I'm not going to do cropped. Yeah. This I don't wear a lot of cropped stuff. I don't, yeah. Okay. I don't need to show off this mom bob. <laughs> Thanks to this one. For sure. So yeah, happy Mother's Day. Thank you, sister. He wants his empty toe. Oh, he wants my yarn bag. I am so excited. Okay, so let's get started and do our gauge swatches. Perfect. lot of work done on my Blythe tank last night um, and throughout the day I spent a lot of a couple out good couple hours on it um, once you finish the triangles the pattern just works up so quickly and it's just repeats back and forth so I was just sitting here watching Gilmore Girls and crocheting and this is my favorite section so far because it shows all the color changes um, so we started at purple and then we got dark and then blue and then we've got this like pretty sea foamy color and you can see right where I held it up I realized that I missed a stitch three rows down so I stopped here last night I was gonna frog it and keep going but it was like it was, it was only like 10 30 but I was done once I realized I was missing a stitch. I actually thought about leaving it too, but I'm not going to because it will bother me. So, something tickling me. Oh, a bug. So, I'm going to take out those uh, two and a half rows or whatever. It's like pretty much three. We're right, right at the end there. Um, I'll take that out, add the stitch, and then go back, start over again. But I love this pattern. I absolutely love it. It is so cute and I love this yarn that we chose. And Sarah's even like working on it super quickly. She breezed through more than I did yesterday. I had to stay up late just to catch up. <laughs> but um, 
yeah it looks amazing and i'm super excited about it and plan on getting some more work done today today is a really exciting day i just have to share this i am so proud so excited and also so absolutely terrified today is my first day as an official full-time business owner for my business for little monsters i make dog collars and leashes and jerky treats and i'm slowly adding in new products but I've been doing this business for four years now, and I know it's not crochet related, but I'm it's part of my life. It's a huge part of my life now. Um, so I just have to add that in that, yeah, I'm so excited. Today, first day, officially full time. So it's going to be busy from here on out. I need to, um, yeah, I've been really busy. And so I think this is gonna, this is gonna be a good thing. Yeah. So... I hope you all have a great day and I'll check back in when I fix that stitch. mentioned how much I love this pattern and how quickly it's working up and I mean seriously quickly I am done I just need to add the buttons and weave in the ends but otherwise you see the back I'm totally done got a little bit of yellow just a tiny bit of pink like around the arms otherwise I used all the colors I've got this much yarn left so I could have definitely added a little bit more length it's hard to see um, but it like falls right at my like my hip bones right here a little bit lower the pattern set suggested for like you, it has suggestions for where to stop if you want to do cropped or full length. Um, I wanted full length and it suggested to do two inches below your hip bone. And I, um, I felt like that was pretty good. It's like, it was hard to test the length, um, when I, because it didn't have straps on it yet. It just was the body. Um, so it was kind of hard to like try it on, but I just held it up. I feel like it's perfect. I think it's totally perfect. I love it. Um, it's already, it's only the 12th. We started the, today's Wednesday. We started last Friday. So yeah, it worked up really quickly. I, um, had a market today, so I worked on it most of the day. I do spend a lot of time crocheting, but I don't know, like, probably oh, I would say this is this could totally be a weekend project if you just sat down and focused on it um yeah oh, I just love the colors I love this yarn I love the way it looks so Sarah's not done with hers but that's okay we still have plenty of time she obviously has a baby and doesn't have nearly as much free time as I do so we're gonna get together here soon and make our buttons but right now I'm going to weave in my ends and then give it a little bath. background but 
Um, I have my finished Blythe tanks with me and we are gonna do a photo shoot today. I'm so excited. I made matching earrings. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day up here. So I'm gonna get some pictures and then I am all done. I can't tell you how much I have loved this project. It's been so much fun. It turned out so beautiful. I ended up not doing buttons on the rainbow one, the first one that I made. I just seamed it up the middle and then didn't add any buttons. There's Chloe back there. Um, the second one that I made, I did add the buttons, but it's still seamed. So the buttons are just there just for looks. Um, the pattern worked up so quickly. It looks so cute. It's literally the perfect summer wear. I'm just so excited to get to wear it out and about. I've already worn my second one around. Polo! That dog's running away. Polo, get over here. Come on. Here it comes. Um, I've already worn the second one that I made like a couple times out to lunch and out around the town and um, it's just so cute. I just love it. I feel like I need to get a bunch more DK yarn and make a ton of them to wear all the time, all summer, every day. There's Sherman. I love a pattern that works up that quickly and it's just like comfortable and it's super flexible as far as sizing. You can make like a bigger size to have a looser fit. You can make it tight, cropped, full length anything you want. So easy. So fabulous. Yeah, this has been a really, really fun crochet along. I'm super happy with it. All right. Bye. Do they look like they are? Yeah. Holy shit, yeah. You look high. <laughs> they're red? Fish. No, they're just dilated huge. Yeah. You Did you go in the next stitch or the one after? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Fisher's very excited about his mother's steak. Oh, he worked really hard. Oh, Rachel. Oh, <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Is he hiccuping? Yeah. But if I stop, he, he breaks my hand back. <laughs> He likes it. Does that look right? Yeah. Ha ba ba ha. Just a hop. 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 boy. Oh, pretty. Open it. What is that? I know what it is. I know what it is. Oh, what no, is you didn't. Okay. Holy cow. What did get? Whoa. Rachel. So oh, and Fisher got juice. I'm dying. You're dying. Ah! You're very.